Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading. Where in this video today we are going to see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general love reading Scorpio. If it resonates hit that like button to let me know and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In this way you'll be updated or reminded um, or even notified of every time I upload a new reading for your sign. If you're finding Scorpio that your messages are not here then please be sure to check out your moon sign, your rising sign and your Venus sign as your messages may be waiting over there. All right guys we're going to open up the reading by taking a look at the current situation between you and the person that is on your mind. Whoever it is that you are thinking of connecting to and dealing with in love for the upcoming days and week. And then we're going to take a look at your feelings towards each other. Stick around to the very end. We will draw some bonus last parting messages also. Alrighty, let's begin your reading. Scorpio, I hope you've all been well. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the current energy between Scorpio and Scorpio's person. Whoever it is that Scorpio is thinking of and connecting to at this time. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. Spirit Angels and Guides. Oh, we've got the Four of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. What else, Spirit? Please show us the current energy between Scorpio and Scorpio's person. We have the Five of Cups, Five of Cups. Oh, I saw the Queen of Wands. So Scorpio, with the Knight of Wands here, you could be connecting to a fire sign. We have the Nine of Cups. And oh, there it is, Queen of Wands. Strong fire energy coming in here. Alrighty, and we have the Seven of Cups. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. You could be connecting to a fixed fixed uh, sun sign also which speaks to Aquarius another Scorpio like yourself Taurus and Leo coming in here okay all right let's just take a look at this for a moment I, I see the Four of Swords here, Scorpio, so I feel currently in the current situation, I don't feel that you are talking to the person that is on your mind. And if you are, it's very little to no communication. Okay. Now, this person that you're connecting to here wants to come in and talk to you. We've got the Knight of Wands here and I feel like they're the Knight of Wands. I feel like your person is the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is someone who is eager uh, to take action. They're eager to approach you. They're eager to talk to you. This is someone who is feeling pretty confident at this time. Hmm. This is someone who is, is very much attracted to you, I have to say, because you're coming in as the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the energy, Scorpio, that you're embodying right now. I feel like this is you, Nine of Pentacles, and I feel like this is you, Nine of Cups. You know, you're just focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your happiness. You have everything that you need within you. Okay. You're giving off this energy like you don't need this person. You're, you're giving off this vibe. I don't need them. I'm fine on my own. I'm focusing on myself. You're coming across as very grounded, Scorpio. And very protective of your energy here with the Nine of Cups. 
We see the woman in the Nine of Cups, her arms are crossed and her legs are crossed. So you're very protective of your energy. Mm. Even with the Queen of Wands, this is you. I feel like this is you. Your instincts right now are telling you to just um, focus on, on you, okay? I'm seeing the cat as instinct, it's animal instinct. So your instincts are telling you just to uh, focus on what makes you happy right now. Mm. The Queen of Wands to me, um, I have to say this person is highly attracted to you. Okay, there's a lot of sexual energy coming in from this person, Scorpio. A lot of sexual energy. This may be someone who is inconsistent in your life. This may be someone who continues to pop in and out of your life. Yeah, they're, sh they're showing a strong um, passion. And they actually want to come in and act on those passions. They want to act on their attraction for you. But I feel with the Queen of Wands here uh, that you, you've raised your standards here. Scorpio because and I say that because this queen of wands she's got high heels on and I see that as um, there's a meme that goes around on Instagram and it's like my my standards are higher than my heels so that's why I say that your standards are higher than your heels whether you're a male or a female that's just what I'm getting hmm and what's really interesting here in this Queen of Wands, she has her legs crossed. In the Rider Waite, the Queen of Wands, she has her legs apart. I'm not sure if you know that or not. So this would suggest that you are not letting this person have access to you. Now, I, see, I typically see the Queen of Wands as the most sexual queen in the deck. Now, you may have had a sexual... Uh, connection or a sexual relationship with this person but you're telling me here that you're no longer letting this person sleep with you or get into bed with you mm. I feel with the five of cups this is something that you had to let go of okay this is something that you had to say goodbye to because um, the five of cups it's like it's it's a loss you know you because look at the woman she is looking at the three cups spilt over and these three cups symbolize casual connection friends with benefits so i feel here that you're you're no longer letting this person uh, access the benefits from you okay it's something that you've had to you've had to close yourself off to you've had you've had to close this person off off to hmm Mm. Yeah, the Seven of Cups here would indicate that maybe this person or you felt like this person was treating you like an option and, and wasn't making you the priority here. Yeah. And this person that you're connecting to is is unsure of how you feel about them or is really unsure of, of where they stand with you. Okay, they're, they're like looking at you thinking, mm, I'm not sure where I stand with Scorpio. So this, this boundary essentially that you're setting here with the Queen of Wands, it may be an energetic boundary. I, Mm, it may be an energetic boundary. It might not even be something that you've discussed. 
but you have no problems with discussing this with this person. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's very open, she's very honest, she's very direct, she's got nothing to hide. You know, she'll just tell it, she tells it how it is. She tells it like it is. So I'm just going to expand on this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling pretty confident within yourself, Scorpio. I don't feel like this was always the case. I do feel on a deeper level, in, on a private level with the Four of Swords, um, that this person really let you down and disappointed you. Okay, and it, it's it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame because, um, you know, this person could have been treated the best by you. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's, she's the queen. She's, she's royalty. This, you could have treated this person like royalty. But see, the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, they're not energetically on the same page. So energetically, this person isn't up to your standard, okay? They're not up to your standard or they can't meet your needs here. Mm. All right, let's just clarify this Queen of Wands, the star card. I really like that for you, Scorpio. This is Major Arcana for Aquarius. So Scorpio, you may be distancing yourself from an Aquarius or you're just in general, you're, you're distancing yourself energetically from this person. You're saying, no, um, I'm not letting you have access to me. I'm not letting you sleep with me anymore. I'm not letting you just continue to have the benefits from me because the star would indicate a certain level of healing and you may currently be going through a healing process. Of, you know, like energetically letting this person go, of not needing their validation. Um, you know, because let's be real, the Knight of Wands is very charming, is very seductive. The Knight of Wands is someone who makes us feel really good about ourselves, makes us feel wanted, makes, a, makes us feel desired. But you're coming in as the Queen of Wands and you're saying to me, Scorpio, I don't need to feel, I don't, I don't need that from this person anymore. I, I can, I, I bring that for myself with the Nine of Cups. Does that make sense, Scorpio? You don't need this person's validation. You don't need them to stroke your ego. You don't need them to make you feel desired, attractive or wanted. You don't need that. You don't need for that at this time because the Nine of Cups tells me that you have everything already that you need within yourself. And if you're not quite there yet, you're definitely on your way to that place. Mm. Now, the Five of Cups would indicate that this is someone that you have been dealing with. Five of Cups, it's kind of like a past energy. So this is, you're, you're connecting to someone that you were having a casual connection with or who was treating you casually, or maybe you were seeing them as a friends with benefits or they were seeing you as a friends with benefits, but you want something more. Mm. You want something more. Because the star card and the queen of wands is telling me so. Do I want to clarify anything else? Let me just quickly have a look at this five of cups for you. I feel for you, Scorpio, with the four of swords, the space or the distance between you and this person has really been needed. I feel like during this quiet time or this distance between the both of you it's really helped you see 
that maybe for some of you, this person was just using you. And maybe it's helping you see here also that it's time to just, you know, see who else is out there or what else is out there. You know, the wheel of fortune is change. The time has come to explore your, explore other options. Mm. This person, um, this knight of wands that you're connecting to here may feel that you have other options surrounding you or that you are entertaining other options which is making them come towards you right which is which is encouraging them encouraging them to take action towards you why is the five of cups yeah the world card exactly exactly what i was talking about earlier you know the world is it's a completed cycle here you're closing out this cycle of no longer letting this person have or or gain or access the benefits from you okay you're saying no i'm not going to let this person just treat me like a, a friends with benefits anymore you know generally speaking you're closing out a cycle here mm. and you're you're prioritizing yourself very strongly here Let's just have a look at this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. All right, let's have a look at this Knight of Wands. The Fool. Well, well, well. Fancy that. Could be connecting to an Aries. Yeah, it's because, I mean, like I said, this person feels that you are detaching. They feel that you no, no longer care about them or you've turned your back on them. You're not giving this person attention anymore. Okay, because you don't need this person's attention anymore. So it's like, hmm. Let me, let me reach out to Scorpio. Let me see if... Um, Scorpio would like to connect with me again, you know, because the fool represents a new beginning. It can feel like with the fool and the knight of wands that this person's kind of just coming out of the blue. It's kind of like they're approaching you unannounced. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your feelings towards this person. We're going to just take a look at your feelings and their feelings here. I'm just going to shuffle the cards very quickly. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the feelings of Scorpio towards this person. Please show me the feelings of Scorpio towards this person. Please show me the feelings of Scorpio towards this person. Please show me the feelings of Scorpio towards this person. First card for Scorpio, the Ten of Cups. Wow, that's interesting. So Scorpio, this, this is someone at one point that you could see um, yourself maybe spending the rest of your life with. At one point, you fantasized about having a life or spending the rest of your life with this person. The King of Pentacles, but you're coming in as the King of Pentacles here. Mm. I feel like you're turning your back on this dream. Okay, because this is how... You're turning your back on this dream or this fantasy that you had about this particular individual and you're valuing stability over a pipe dream. Well, I say a pipe dream. It feels like that, you know. Yeah, you're turning your back on this pipe dream or you're turning your back on this fantasy and you're valuing stability instead. Mm. Because at one point you really wanted a commitment from this person. 
or you were you were seeking something more solid and something more stable but this person with the will of fortune and the seven of cups it was like they were very um you know the the will of fortune is transient in nature so it's it's like a temporary energy so like when they were with you it felt like they were coming and going coming and going it was just the way that they were with you it was just like temporary it was um like this person their energy shifted constantly you know they were in and out you never knew you know, if they were sticking around for a long time or a short time. Mm. Right, tell me more about Scorpio's feelings. Wow, there you go. You're coming in as the emperor. I really like that for you. Again, another card that would indicate that you are prioritizing stability. You definitely uh, call the shots here, Scorpio. You're in charge. You have the authority at this point. Because this emperor, he's holding a chess piece. So if it's meant to be, it's up to you. Okay, you, you hold the cards here. The ball is in your court here. All right, tell me more. The Six of Wands. Well, isn't that very funny? Um, I was just talking about that, you know, no longer needing this person's attention or validation. The Emperor doesn't need it. The Emperor doesn't need it. He doesn't need validation. He's, he's fulfilled already. Um, however, you are getting this attention from this person this week. You will be getting this person's attention. I also see the Six of Wands as victory. So right now, when it comes to you and this person, you do feel very victorious. So you should be proud of yourself, Scorpio. You should be very proud. Hmm. All right, let's, let's take a look at your person's feelings towards you. Let's just, I'm going to keep these two cards here. Let's just take a quick look at their feelings. Spirit, angels and guides, please show me the feelings of the person that Scorpio is connecting to. Please show me this person's feelings. Please show me this person's feelings. Oh, cards are stuck. Come on, let's shuffle. Spirit angels and guides, please show me this person's feelings towards Scorpio this week. First card coming through is the Three of Pentacles. Well, why am I not surprised? This person wants to come in and collaborate with you this week. Hmm. That's really interesting. With the Three of Pentacles, it would indicate that this person is willing to be flexible. They're willing to bend. They're willing to come up with some kind of a compromise. Maybe they're coming in to see if you're willing to compromise on, on, your, on your values or um, on your boundaries here. Mm, that's interesting. The three of wands. Well, that's two threes now. That is two threes. Mm. It's like with the three of wands, um, I'm seeing a lot of passion here coming from this person and they desire to act, okay? They feel like the time is, is now, the time is right to approach you. There's like a fire 
um, that is being lit within this person and they're strongly desiring to approach you this week. They do feel that you are at a distance from them, okay? They're feeling this distance and they don't like it. So the Knight of Wands, it's like, oh, let me see if I can conquer Scorpio here. Let me see if I can, you know, confidently uh, get Scorpio to work with me here. Um, and, you know, the Knight of Wands has this ability to be very charming and persuasive, also but you're coming in like I said with the queen of wands so you're you're also confident within yourself right you've done a lot of healing work or you're doing a lot of healing work here tell me more about this person's feelings towards Scorpio this week the ten of pentacles let me just grab another one. The King of Cups. Well, that's very interesting. It seems like there's been a shift in this person. There's been a shift in their feelings. Scorpio. Wow. Just give me a moment, Scorpio. I'm just I'm just analyzing this energy here. There's definitely been a shift. Because the 3 of pentacles is here. Mm. I feel like you've uh maybe stirred up a little bit of jealousy within this person. Especially if you have been, you know, entertaining other options here. This person feels, you know, that you are slipping away. Or they feel with the star card that you're distancing yourself from them. And I even see it here in the three of wands in their energy. But it seems like this person's had a shift. I'm not sure if it's too late for you, but you are the emperor here. So you ultimately, you have the last say. But the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups, this is an energy of someone who is ready to settle down. This is someone who is ready to get serious. Like I said, with the Three of Pentacles, they're ready to be flexible. They're ready to uh, maybe make certain sacrifices. Maybe they're ready to see if you're willing to, you know, work with them, uh, connect with them, collaborate with them, because they certainly want to with you. I'm just going to clarify this uh, King of Cups. You could be connecting to another water sign here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Why is the King of Cups here in this person's feelings? I feel like this is someone who is coming through this week with a lot of feelings. Okay, they feel very strongly here for you. Um... But with the Ten of Pentacles next to the King of Cups, this is not always the person that tells you that they love you. This is not someone who is openly expressive of their feelings. They're sort of more, maybe they show you with their actions. Okay, King of Cups. Wow, look at that. I, I knew that they had a change of, there's been a change of heart. There's, there's been an energy shift with this person. Because now they're seeing you as someone that, you know, can complete their life. They're, they're seeing you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with.
This person feels that you are their soulmate. Mm. I'm just going to clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles in this person's feelings. This person feels like they're ready to commit or they're ready to get serious. Look at that. There's the magician. Well, well, well. Scorpio, you can expect a different something. You can expect a shift here to take place with your person this week. This is someone who is coming in manifesting um, perhaps greater stability here in your situation. They are coming in prepared and ready to commit. Okay. They're coming in pretty confident. I have to say, Scorpio, this is someone who feels pretty confident. Let's grab some last parting messages and or advice. Spirit, what last parting messages or advice do you have for our Scorpios here? What last parting messages or advice do you have for our Scorpios here? All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. You know, I would never tell you what to do, Scorpio, uh, but Spirit is suggesting here, um, you know, that you could have something maybe pretty amazing here with this person. You know, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor together, that can be a very solid and strong and, and perhaps even a stubborn energy here. You may be pushing away a good thing. Okay, like I said, I don't want to ever tell you what to do, but you may. You may be pushing away a good thing. And it's only something that we would know uh, more clearly in a personal reading, right? All right, let's see uh, what else. This could also be the energy of your person too. Okay, maybe their pride or their ego got in the way or it is getting in the way. That is why they're approaching you this week. Because if you are... You know, because the six of wands, this is you, you're getting a lot of, you could be getting a lot of attention from other people right now. And, and this person's feeling triggered and jealous. Mm. Because all of a sudden you're hot property. Your hot property. Might even title the reading your hot property. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. You could be connecting to a Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's right. I see it here with the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles in your energy. You had this dream or this desire to be with this person long term, to spend the rest of your life with this person, but this dream cannot manifest if only one of you is committed. So, you know, in order for this relationship to work out, a, a commitment needs to come in from this person too. But I feel interestingly enough that this person is coming in with this this week. It's like they're making it happen. They're, they're coming in with a practical plan this week. See, because they have the Ten of Cups too. See? That's interesting. One more card for our Scorpios. Oh, we've got your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. 
Well, it was upside down, it shouldn't be. Uh, you could be connecting to a Capricorn. This person could be coming up against some kind of a challenge with you this week. I don't feel like you're going to make it very easy for this person to just waltz back in or walk back into your life. Okay, you're not making it easy. You might, you might be putting them to the test, Scorpio. Mm. And it's because you've got the star card here. It's because you've been working on yourself. You've been healing yourself. But like I said, this person can't help but be drawn to you. And with your, you might be getting star treatment here. You, you're getting a lot of attention and all of a sudden it's like your hot property. You know? All right, Scorpio. So that's where I'm going to leave your reading. I do hope this reading was insightful and helpful. Feel free to let me know in the comments section below which part best resonated for you. And I will see you in my next Scorpio reading. Bye, guys.